hello guys so welcome back to my channel how are you guys <laughs> so how are you guys um thank you so much for your support and your love to my channel i'm just feeling myself right now i need to feel myself i need it guys so i just published one video i didn't know the video was gonna be that long i was hoping that when i finish talking that video i go shopping and i'll add everything together and publish but with the way I was talking, I was just feeling myself. And before I know, the time went so quickly and it was about 11 minutes video. So I'm like, I'm like, I cannot, uh, I cannot add it to this one I'm doing. It's better for me to publish that one. Then I'll do a separate video now. Like what I do in my kitchen? Is it day-to-day -day life? Yeah. It's a long time I've done day-to-day -day life, isn't it guys? The last time I did it was on, it was on last week Sunday, almost a week now. It was last week Sunday and I published it. I think it was on Monday I published it or Tuesday, something like that. So today is Saturday. I went shopping already. I came back around... <clears throat> I went shopping today. I went shopping early today. I went out around about 9.15 in the morning. And I think I came back around 11. But now the time is around 3. 14.52. Because when I came back, I was taking my time. You know, I made sure I edit that. Um, I made sure I, I was uploading it when I went out. And um, when I came back, I made sure I monetize it and write the subtitle and publish it. And I was just taking my time and I just finished having my breakfast. I didn't have anything this morning before I went out. All I had this morning, very important every morning, what I normally have. Let me show you guys. Um, This is the booster. You know, this is two sachets together. You just need one. I'll tear one, add in a glass cup of water normally me i use plastic cup you guys you know me i add it in this cup warm water and i'll add uh, a little bit sometimes i add uh, apple cider vinegar let me show you guys so sometimes i add uh, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar inside the warm water and normally i always make sure that i use the cup most of the time I use the scope and this is 500 ml. I'll pour the warm water, pour a, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, pour the booster, pour the booster, mix, drink, and then getting on with my day. And when I drink it like that, I'm not always hungry, to be honest with you guys. I always like sometimes force myself to eat. So when I came back, I, I, I had that and I went to shopping. So when I came back, I had two banana. You guys know banana now, banana, like fruit banana this one but the one i had was the one i bought the other day it wasn't this big so i had two and then yeah that was about uh, that was about three hours ago i think yeah 12 one two three yeah three hours ago and then now before i started before i wanted to start i said let me have my shake because i was hungry and the way i'm hungry like that if i don't have my shake I can just look for anything and I can just eat bread or anything and I'm avoiding all that. So I quickly, when I know that the hunger, they catch me where I wear it, like little by little, I quickly have my shake. And inside here, I have my Juice Plus uh, shake. Let me show you guys the shake in case you are new to my channel. You don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is the shake, guys. Most of you will have been familiar with it because I've shared it lots of times on my channel. This is the shake and it came with a small cup. So I just used like a black cup and I pour it uh, and in my blender and I use 500, sorry, which 500? I use uh, 200 ml of water and the what I use, I use parsley, I use lemon with the skin. Not a whole one, like a quarter of lemon with the skin. I use a bit of lime. I use a uh, parsley as I said I use ginger I use papaya um, and I use I use kiwi as well I use kiwi can you guys see kiwi what else did I use I think that is all I, I use mints you know mint leaf I use about five uh, leaf you know and I blend it together and this is what I'm drinking now but you can use any fruit you can use strawberry uh, grape juice um, mango uh watermelon any fruit but if you want the process to fast fast you use parsley lemon ginger blend and drink mm. so that's what i just had so i want to start cooking so guys let's start you like what you see yeah let's start and when i came back i took off my wig <clears throat> i'm still enjoying my hair right now I think I'm going to leave it for a few weeks. Uh, right now, I bought aloe vera. Yay! I need to show you guys. Let me show you guys my aloe vera. 
yeah this is my aloe vera oops oops can you guys see so um i just started the challenge yesterday i was rubbing it on my hair you know where it break and i want to use the opportunity to thank all of you uh that when i mentioned it in my last video that my hair break a lot lots of you have sent me comment the natural thing i can use to treat my hair myself thank you guys thank you so much i'm gonna try it out trust me guys thank you so much for your advice i really appreciate this so let me put this my aloe vera down and sometimes i normally add the gel to my shake as well no, most of the time um i'm not saying most of the time i do it in the night yeah in the night i, I don't you drink it during the day in the night i drink it all that challenge is in the another the other channel so you guys if you are new you have no the channel or you can't just be bothered to check the channel and you're interested you better check it out to know more about it okay let me put it down okay guys <laughs> love you okay, guys. guys that is done so now i'm going to show you guys what i bought today and what i'm cooking can you guys see my face ah uh, you guys remember how my face looked like before before it was like mm, and uh, i didn't just like how i look i was looking older than my age like who does that hmm. so anyway let me show you guys everything so uh ed earlier i this is my oops this is my chicken my beef and cow food and I know most of you like Janet. I thought you said you won't cook beef again. Seriously, I've not cooked beef now for the past. Is it not past the past three, three to four, almost a month now? I've not cooked beef. As I said, I'm avoiding beef, cow. Um, okay, I cook cow food. I cook chicken. I cook turkey as well, but I don't have turkey today. But for the past close to a month now, I've not been cooking beef. All I know I cook was uh, chicken and cow food and a lot of fish. But. I just thought about it today that let me just cook meat for my husband you know and my children as well that doesn't mean because me i don't want it my children must suffer and i don't want my husband to divorce me you know what i mean guys yeah <laughs> uh, you know you guys don't let me talk too much like a man like my husband is not many out there and i'm telling those of you that you are in your husband's house i husband treat you well a good man like that you know man they love when we praise them <laughs> don't they love it yeah you guys you love it isn't it so i'm like okay i need to cook beef so i'm going to make ila la sepo you guys know what ila la sepo me it means okra okra together with the meat so it's everything and i'm going to add spinach so that's what i'm cooking today and uh yeah and you guys can see i didn't buy shaki or anything i'm avoiding all that i don't think for me to buy shaki now maybe Maybe when I get to Nigeria, because the shaki I'm seeing here, I'm not happy with it, with everything bleaching, bleaching that I mentioned the last time. So anyway, uh, that's my meat boiling already. And I also have uh, palm oil. Can you guys see palm oil? I'm bleaching palm oil because I'm making ayamashi. Excuse me, is it ayamashi, ayamashi or ayamashi? I think it's ayamashi, but I call it ayamashi. <coughs> so I'm bleaching it and the kids are upstairs. So... If you have if you want to cook ayamashi and you want to bleach oil and you have kids make sure your kids are away from the kitchen please guys or make sure they are not around me i know now that i'm in the kitchen i'm gonna bleach this most of the time when i'm making ayamashi they are, they are in school but today is saturday they are home but they are upstairs in their room doing their own thing i'm here talking to you guys not like something that i don't know i know they are just playing but yeah that is it so let me show you guys the rest of the thing i bought okay yeah okay, okay, okay so guys let's start so i bought palm oil i've taken some of it that's one i'm bleaching you know for my ayamasi and i also bought onions i'll be using these red onions for my ayamasi i'm sorry if you cannot hear me properly it's very windy and i've opened my garden door and my window because i'm bleaching the palm oil okay guys so i'm sorry if the wind is not allowing you to see me properly or to hear me then
guys i also bought uh stock fish can you guys see i bought stock fish i'll be using for my ilala sigma and i bought a fish this is mackerel which is known as titus i bought it i'll be using some of the fish for ayamashi and i'll be um keeping some in the freezer yeah for another people's use so i bought spinach because i'll be adding spinach to my okra so and i think this is too much spinach so when i don't i'll just um pick it and wash it and use the one i want to use and the remaining i'll keep in my freezer for another purpose use i bought um aromat and this is another pounded yam for hobby not for me and i also buy um fresh prawns can you guys see i bought fresh prawns i'll be adding to my okra it's really delicious you guys if you haven't tried it try it so guys that is it that is all i bought and yeah i also bought some things for the kids like their um chips uh nugget or their fatty food whatever whatever so i've they when i came out they've kept this in the freezer and but the kitchen food this is it <laughs> for hobby so i'm gonna be checking on my meat and i showed you guys earlier i was boiling it where is the yomorogu so i'm gonna check on it you guys wanna look 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 so i'm going to miss and uh, my palm oil i finished bleaching what i did i put it outside so that i can cool down and i'll bring it back inside so i think the beef is ready can you imagine it's all soft now this beef they are setting safe so i have to come and take the beef out so guys i finished uh, washing my fish and i've cut it and i'm going to add my seasoning because i want to grill this fish you know i don't want to fry it or cook it raw i want to grill it i'm not going to grill everything i'm just going to grill the one i'm going to use for my ayamase okay that's that So guys this is the one i'll be grilling can you guys see and i'll be keeping this in the freezer for another purpose use This is quick way I normally take all my spinning, just like that. Just make sure that all the one that is not good, like it's not green enough, you just put them aside like that, you know. And then, bam, that's it. All done. Can you guys see? All done, done, done. the spinach to rinse it if I'm making a furry roll I won't be taking all this out but because I'm making okra 
I won't be needing it. So that's why I'm taking all this stick out. Yeah. So now guys, my chicken cow foot is soft to my taste. I'm going to take it out from the stock. As you guys know, I took out the beef earlier. Yeah, but the beef was soft. So I'm going to take all the out, 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 all the meats. So guys, this is my stock fish. I'm just adding salt. Um, can you guys see? I'm adding salt. And I'm going to add boil water from the kettle. I'm going to just leave this for about one minute. So, um, chili, this is scotch bonnet, it's really really spicy. And if you don't want to do this metal, you can also blend it in the blender, or if you don't want to use um, this scotch bonnet, you can also use dry pepper, you know, atagungu. So I'm going to add more water, you know, to cook. So guys, um, I've soaked this for about three minutes now inside the hot water with salt. So I'm going to add it to the stock. So I'm just going to close that to cook for maybe 10 minutes then i'll be back so guys this is my prawns i'm going to take it i'm gonna take the skin off <clears throat> uh, you can also buy the one that doesn't have skin but it's much expensive this one is cheaper that's why i bought it you know so i said i'll be village girl i can take it out myself you know it's cheaper like all this one now is how much did I buy? That was four pounds. Yeah, that was four pounds. Because I remember when I said I want four pounds. And when I give him five pounds, he gave me one pound change. So this is five pounds on the dot. This quantity, you know. But if it's the one that they've already taken everything, everything is clean, looking well, they can sell this for maybe like six pounds or I don't know, maybe like seven pounds. Okay, so I'm just taking it out. And you know when I take it out like that, there also there's always some uh, black stuff. I don't know what this is, but I can't eat this. So can you guys see? I take that off. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you guys when I finish. Okay, okay. Okay. So guys, I finish my prawns. This is it. So this I've been cooking for 10 minutes, my stock, so I'm going to pour this in the sifter, like that. I'm just using tissue, the serviette in my hand to clean the pots. It's reality! Okay, so now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to add palm oil. Can you guys see? 
yeah i'm going to add a little bit of palm oil because i'll be eating this uh soup as well i'll be eating this ogmono it's not ogmono i'll be having this okra soup as well if i tell you i'm not going to have it i'm lying so i'll be having it as well so i'm not going to be using a lot of palm oil i'm using just that much so what i'm going to do now first thing i'm going to add my prawns i'm going to kind of a bit stir fry it i'm going to add aroma if you don't have aroma you can use seasoning cube or any spices that you use that you normally use that much So I put the camera position like this so you guys can see it properly. So after stir frying this for about two minutes, I'm just not gonna take it out. Can you guys see? That's that. Even that side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the stock. So you guys, can you see now the reason why I add my scotch bonnet? I want the sauce to be spicy, the stock, yeah. So I'm just going to pick all my fish. I'm going to add it back to the stock. So guys, I finished adding it. I just press it like that so I'm gonna taste mm, it's nice and sweet I don't think I'll be needing any seasoning because I had enough seasoning when I was boiling the meat I'm going to add iru this is iru kwete uh, which known as locust beans but this is the mash one the mash one smell better but I don't think they have it here in UK really this one is sent to me by my mother-in-law the last time my husband went to Nigeria if you don't have a root pete, you can also use the the seed one right is it called seed one okay so I'm gonna leave that to boil for I don't know the reason why I said I don't know I just because I want to add everything now so all my all the meats chicken and what I did earlier, I took out the bone from my cow foot. When I'm have, making okra or any draw soup, I like taking out the bone. It's only when I'm making stew, some of the bone, I normally leave it so that we can, you know, suck it. But when it's okra, I don't think there's points really. So, I'm going to leave this to cook for about... Mm, delicious. To cook it for about... Mm, yum, 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 yum five to seven minutes and while that is cooking i'm going to blend my okra and pour the spinach Going to add the spinach.
and now I'm going to add the prawns just gonna mix all that together so I'm going to leave this for about five more minutes and then it's ready so guys my okra is ready and you know what I've not even tasted it whether there's enough salt for maggi so I'm going to taste it I'll taste it mmm perfect so it's ready I'm going to take it out from the cooker and now this is my ayamashi I'm still blending the pepper I didn't remember to sh uh, show you guys earlier but you know it's bell pepper green bell pepper so I said bell pepper and this kind of pepper you guys see and if you are new to my channel you want to know how I normally make my ayamashi I have a lot of video recipe I have a lot of res video recipe or ayamashi recipe how to make it with assorted meat or fish you know I have all so you can check it out okay uh, so guys what I blend here I blend the red uh, scotch bonnet the yellow one and red onions so I just blend it like that shall you know um I need spoon to mix oh guys look at my cooker it's so clean <laughs> let me just use that word it's so clean <clears throat> excuse me so I'm going to allow that to cook So guys, I finished now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Before I go, I've made my cauliflower swallow. I'm going to have it now. I'm going to go and have it in the other channel. <laughs> so thank you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.